Okay, we're rolling. Hi folks, mind maps. Right, mind maps. Using both sides of the brain, using the artistic right side, the logical left side, we're going to use pictures, words, links, branches, so it's like a fractal, so it'll grow like a tree. Use for planning stuff. If you have a list, sometimes you need to put something in at a different level and you've got to rewrite it and stuff. This you can bang stuff on anywhere. You need a subject and a central picture. So my subject is what other videos can I shoot for you guys over the coming weeks? So we need something in the middle. Now a lot of times I watch videos while people spell out words. I'm going, hurry up, my brain don't work that slow. So this is going to be the scruffiest mind map you've ever seen if you don't want me dotting the I's and crossing the T's and messing around. So in the middle we have a little picture of a house. So your house can be 3D, you can have a nice path. You can have a lake, uh, a, a paddling pool out there, you the sun's coming down. You can do it however you want, you can cut it out of a magazine, stick it in the middle. Then we want branches coming off from this. And I would suggest energy, and from there you have branches coming off. So, and then we could have a little list of stuff. So we've got a cheek up, we've got Western energy exercises, we've got Eastern energy exercises, we've got the Kata, the forms, the energy forms, and obviously I'm not writing this out properly because you'll get really bored watching me try and spell a word that I can't spell. Then we can have martial arts type stuff, so we've got stretching, and then we can have kata, forms, we can have breakdown, so it's kata bunkai as they call it, when you break down the moves and not just call them blocks, because we all know there's no such thing as a block. Okay, and then we can have individual techniques, we can have kicking techniques. So then you start drawing some of these techniques in. So you've got again little pretty patterns, you've got images, you've got 3D stuff, you've got different colours, you've got branches coming off here, you've got branches coming off. So your mind that develops quite quickly. And if you can keep up with it, which I doubt you will do, it'll look as bad as this one, which is absolutely fine, as long as you've got something you can read later on there. If you want to make it look posh, because you're going to hand it in for your belt test, then you can redo it and put little posh things on. You can use free software that you can download over the internet and make it really posh. Okay? So, other things we can look at, we can look at nutrition, we can look at health, we can look at the Qi Kong, which then relates to that, so then you can have a link up there. We want to boost the immune system, so we want a big smiley face and a happy looking chap. So you can draw a smiley guy, waving and having a good time. Okay, tangents. Everybody's got to be clean in the house, aren't you? Or thinking about it. So, we're going to go feng shui which means wind and water, which is how to get the positive energies in your house. So we can look at doing that. So then we can look at doing dowsing. So now we're going off our tangent. So that's energy detection to have a link over here. So this is how your mind map, mind map might develop. Initially I got the guys to do them for the belt tests. Because when I tested for black hole many moons ago, I was asked to do an essay. That was a word essay the first day. I thought, well, nobody's taught me how to do an essay. Obviously, I could do one, and most people can. But I thought, why am I being tested on something I haven't been taught in class? So I used the mind map to plan the essay, and that makes it really easy, because then you write a few lines on this, a few lines on this, a few lines on that, and then these become paragraphs. Well, yeah, that's clever stuff for people that know about English. And then it's a cake, because it's broken down. Rather than, once upon a time I started training and reads like a load of rubbish, which is a lot of people do that. And so I thought if I used it to plan, I should teach my guys. So then they'll have tools to use. I use this type of thing to plan world championships in London, big events, seminars, all kinds of stuff. So you can plan what you're going to do 
over the coming weeks by using a mind map and call it your cunning plan, Baldrick. Okay, so you can use it all kinds of stuff. I was testing for Masters Bell in America and Alabama. They made us work through the night thinking that would be hard. But well, because of the time difference, all the British guys were all up and dancing at three in the morning, so we were fine. We had to answer all these questions and write all these little essays, and I couldn't be doing with that. So I started doing mind maps. Boof, mind map, next, mind map, next. 80%. I don't know if anybody else passed. I think most of them failed it. But I got 80%, so I was happy with that. And it was really, really easy to do, rather than slog through writing stuff. I just, I just I did, you know, five in the morning, I was up looking for a beer. But don't tell anybody that, because I found one. Anyway, that's another story. So, we're using both brains, we're using logic, artistic abilities, so you can draw stuff. 3D is good, stick images on there, use the internet, use your computer. Planning events, planning what you're going to do next day, planning your life. Okay, so little guys, competition. Knock out some wine maps, send them to me via the internet on Facebook or whatever, and we'll have a little competition and see who can win. So the guys that would have been testing, so what we've got, we've got little Jack, we've got Jamie, we've got Devin, we've got Russ. Um, so you guys and, and do your mind map for your test. And then Andy and Stephen, we're trying to get them to go for black belt, but there's so many things going on. The guys with the jobs and work and everything, but if you get time, which you might do, or you might have a, a critical job, I don't, I don't know if you've still got a critical job going, then do your mind map to plan your essay, write your essay, get it done and out of the way. Fantastic, guys. So feedback. Feedback on this particular scruffy mind map. What else would you like me to do a video on? Obviously this is not clear, it's not a proper thing, this is just showing you how to construct a mind map. So a particular interest, martial arts, yoga, meditation, health, nutrition. You think of it, I'll research it if I don't already know the stuff and we'll shoot a video on it. Right, my work here is done. Thank you very much.